One of the neat things about having sound in Edge Animate means you can add sound to buttons. And doing this is actually quite easy. So we have our button here. If we test this out, let's do Command Return, Control Enter on PC. We have a simple little button here. And I'm going to close this out. And what I want to do now is bring in a simple button sound. So I'm going to go to my Finder and I'm going to locate one of our sound files. And I have button click 01 MP3. And I'm just going to simply click and drag this straight onto my Edge Animate stage and let go of my mouse. Now, of course, this does not show up visibly on the stage, but we now have this in our timeline. Now, I want to make sure we select our button click sound, and we do not want this to auto play. But what we want to do is we're just going to click here and get the name of the sound. We'll simply copy Command C, Control C on PC. And now I'll right click on our button and open the actions for our arcade button. And I'm going to simply choose click. Now, if we scroll down, we have lots of different audio commands that are already built here. So I'm just going to simply click play audio. And instead of my audio element, that's the section that's highlighted right now, I'll simply paste the name of our sound, which is going to be button click 01. So now if we test our movie, command return. Now, the one thing I don't like is you don't really hear the sound until you let off of the mouse. So let's close this out and we'll right click on our button. Let's open actions for arcade button. And I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to get rid of the click button here. And instead, what we want to do is mouse down and I'll go ahead and paste command V. And we'll test our movie. Command return, control enter on PC. And we now have sound added to our button. So in order to add sound to your buttons, you simply need to make sure you have the sounds labeled and then be able to call on that sound on your appropriate button.